magnitude. No, just ignore that. Talk to me. Mm. And tell me your name, where you live, and what you do. My name's David Brown. I live in uh, Bolton in England, and I'm a university professor in American history. Where, where were you born? In Lancashire, in England. So you spent most of your life in England? Yes, all of it, with the exception of a year in the States, 1989-90. So if you just spent one year here, what made you become an American history professor? Partly that year. Um, I was in North Carolina, and um, it's a very different place to the UK. Um, my specialism is slavery in the South. The South is a very distinctive society. Um, and I guess my interest was from that year, and seeing how the South became the way it was. <laughs> um, I guess you call, in American terms, a liberal, British terms, slightly to the left of New Labour, which isn't hard to do. So what made you come down to the people class today? Um, well, the assassination of John F. Kennedy. Um, if that hadn't have taken place, I wouldn't have come down to Dealey Plaza today. This is the spot that most people in the world would associate with Dallas, apart from the opening scenes of Dallas, the TV show. Maybe you're too young to remember that. But Dallas had a big following in Britain in the early 1980s, late 70s. But um, no, historically, this Dallas, I think, is known for JFK. Did you ever uh, experience people thinking negatively of Dallas because of that association? No. I teach. American history. I also teach American film. We do JFK, the film by Oliver Stone, and that's never a reaction that I've ever come across. Um, so when you teach that, well, how do you present it? Well, the course is a, about history and film, the way in which film tries to represent and negotiate historical themes. Um, the students watch the film and then we discuss it the week after. Um, and I try and they have some primary sources on the assassination, mostly secondary readings by historians. And they try and balance the two. To what, it, what does the film tell us about JFK and his death? Um, how does that fit in? Does it contradict or does it support what historians have said about JFK and his death and his significance? And you personally, what do you think of the film? I think it's a good film. Um, I think it, it's a film on many different levels. Not all of them are ones which I would agree with, but um, I think JFK is probably a classic myth in the way in which American society has developed a number of myths about itself. Um, there's a cult of personality around the president. There's a big dispute about what he, what he intended to do and what his policies would have done. Um, and of course the biggest myth or conspiracy theory is about his death and I, I think it's quite spectacular the way Stone manages to incorporate many different conspiracy theories in his film but maintains a, a watchable film. You know, I'm not sure I agree with the history that Stone uses but in terms of presenting a myth I think it's quite an interesting and, and very successful film. What's your uh, take on the actual A good question. I, I, I tend to not agree with the idea that it was Oswald. Um, I remember when the film came out, there were dozens of different documentaries which also came out at the same time, all professing to tell us the truth. And There's a dozen guys out there who've done their own research and will sell me their newspaper and it will tell me what the truth is. Um, it might be interesting if you ask me this in about an hour, having gone up and having had a look for myself. Um, but I think that there are very there are a number of strange things which seemingly happened on that day, which might suggest that it was not Oswald. But I don't know. I really don't know, and it's not something which 
Although I'm an American historian, a historian of the 19th century, it's not something um, which I could profess to have any expertise on at all. Have you got a chance to walk around the plaza at all? Mm -hmm. yeah. And what, and how did it feel to actually be there? Well, my first reaction was that um, there's very little commemoration. There's not much um, by way of information apart from this building that we have here. Um, perhaps that's because Dallas doesn't want to remember that it happened within its city, I don't know. But in a, you kind of think that JFK and the events which took place are so well known and so important and are part of the most important aspects of American history that the, the street would be shut down, or, you know, the, the actual route that he took, particularly where he was shot. I mean, there's nothing to commemorate where he, he was shot. Um, so that, that was my first reaction. Do you notice the X on the road out there? No. <laughs> I'll have another look for that. Yeah, that's not an official sanction X, but it's... <laughs> Is it? <laughs> it comes in. Uh, did you read this plaque here on the wall? Yes. I can't remember what it says now. Yes. It's not a thing. Yeah, I did notice that word, which is interesting. And it happens constantly, no matter what the city does. There's, there's, uh, um, did you plan on going over to the conspiracy museum? Didn't know there was a conspiracy museum, but we won't have time. But I probably would have done that. That might have been interesting. Yeah. There's also a Kennedy Memorial back over there. Were you aware of that? Over that way? No, I haven't been that way either. It's too hot. <laughs> okay. Um, do you know, like, when you first heard the Kennedy story, or did it happen in the past? It's a good question. I couldn't place a date on it. I would guess I had a, an awareness of it from quite an early age, even growing up in England, where it was not a um, an important directly important event. Um, most people will probably be made aware of Kennedy when somebody says, do you know where you were when JFK was shot? That is as uh, common in England as it is in the US for that question to be asked. So my parents would... I don't think, I don't think actually either of them knew where they were when he was shot. But um, a lot of people will know. And it was... Uh, I guess given the um, circumstances of the times in the early 60s and Cold War and America and Britain having a very close relationship, it was, it was important for, it was important in many people's lives in Great Britain, but I would, I would have guessed sometime in my childhood, maybe 10, 11, sometime around there. Do you have any uh, projection on what the world might have been like if Kennedy hadn't died here that day in Dallas? Well, that's a more historical question. Um, that's one of the interesting things about um, the film. Uh, the short answer is I don't think, I don't think we, we know. I think his record is in government is quite mediocre. I don't think he'd initiated any great reforms. Um, I don't think he'd done many changes. It's difficult for American presidents to do so. They don't have a political system which allows them much leeway. Um, so I, I don't think we, we know. I certainly don't think that the world would have become automatically a wonderful place had he lived and it, consequently when he died it, it headed in a different direction. I don't think that's, that would be fair. Do you think that uh, people will continue to come here for 100 years from now and beyond? Yeah, absolutely. Beyond. Because history is very important to everybody, but it's particularly important in the US, which is a young country without the buildings that you find in Britain and Europe. Um, I guess Kennedy strikes a chord with most people in the, in the country, and I think they probably um, feel a great sense of loss when they come here. I did half expect to see some people here tearful or upset. Maybe that happens at other times when I'm not around, I don't know. But um, I, I think, yes, I think this will be a place people will visit for many, many years. And lastly, do you have any um, idea who George Bannerman Dealey was? I 
think I read something about it, and I've already forgotten what it was. <laughs> no, it would be it wouldn't be fair to say I know who Dealey was. No. Is there anything else that you think about the question they asked you you'd like to say? Well, I'd have a lot of questions to ask you, but that's probably not helpful for your study. <laughs> <laughs> Well, what do you think about Kennedy and his assassination? Do you think it was a lone gunman? Well, are you going to answer questions? I suppose I could. Yeah, well, then I'll wait. Uh, okay. Until I don't want to yes. <laughs> are you the expert? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I've heard a lot.